Welcome back to another vlog. I am going to try something a little bit different this time and do a couple voiceovers for you because I'm just experimenting with the way that I do vlogs and I felt like doing a voiceover. So let me know if you like these little um, director's cut vlogs because I'll keep doing them. Anyway, enjoy this vlog. So we have decided to... take the van on its first little impromptu road trip. Oh, it smells like falafel in here. Because we have a falafel pizza down there. It's New Year's Eve, by the way. And I'm wearing this extremely cute earth tone outfit because this is my most down to earth year that I've ever had. And we're going to have our first sober Year's Eve, and so we're going on this impromptu camping trip, and we're taking the bus for the first time, and it's very exciting. And we've made it into a bed. It's going to look really cute in a second. I haven't made curtains or anything for it yet, but it's going to look really cute. Tomorrow we're going to be joined by a few of our friends, maybe, um, and we're just going to have a beach day because it's going to be really nice weather. It's going to be the first of January. We're going to wake up sober on the first of January. We're going to go for a run. We're going to just be those type of people because that's who we are this year. Um, and next year we're going to have a massive party because next year is going to be the best year of our life. Or well, we're going to make it that. And I thought since one of my vlogs is day whatever, swim in the ocean, I've decided to make it day two, swim in the ocean, since we're going to, what's it called? The Great Ocean Road. So here we go on our road trip. It's going to be so amazing. Let's do this. Going viral, like how much do you think? Uh, like like we did in the first night. If we don't like the spot, we just move. Like imagine moving the tent. Look at that. Oh my God, the waves are stupid. But also we are taller. So all the views are better. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. First stop, this is where we're going to probably spend our New Year's Eve. Look at this. <laughs> Such a good spot. And this is our setup. <laughs> All the seats fold into this bed, and we've got this lookout. Holy shit. What, what, this is way better than getting drunk. Oh, wow. <laughs> and we've got some card games. I've got my journal. It's kind of incredible. This is just like something, I hope you can hear me because of the wind. This is something extremely good. The only thing that's like a little bit shit is that you've got the fucking Great Ocean Road right there, which is lots of cars driving past, but hopefully that should settle down soon. But look where there's this beautiful field of grass. Um, I've had quite a cathartic couple of days and had been, it's been a lot of crying. Um, but I'm really excited about this new year and stepping into what I hope will be the best year of my life. And this year has been like very hard on me uh, financially. <laughs> and I'm excited to maybe like step into this part of my life where I am financially stable and like we're ready to do anything and achieve my dreams because I have you know enough stability in my life to to achieve them i have got this really new exciting thing that I've got coming up which I can't wait to talk to you all about and I think it's going to be a separate video slash separate series it has to do with medical stuff um, so all of the people that are interested in the intersex stuff might be interested in this. Um, but oh my gosh, just look at this view. Jesus.
Yeah. All right, don't you dare make fun of my running form, okay? This was at the very end of the run and I was fucking tired. I know I don't look very athletic and it's because I'm not. I'm a lanky fucking weirdo, okay? And I just run for my health. It's nice. Especially on this beach because it's so wide and, uh, you know, it's not that soft. We're going to just really romanticize the fuck out of our lives today because it's the first day of the year. We went for a run. We did the little run. We did our run. It was amazing. Um, and now we're gonna have some fun. We did the run, now we're gonna have some fun. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just too zened out. Oh yeah, sorry, just... I don't usually listen to you. <laughs> I think what we can ascertain from this is that Sebastian and I don't listen to one another we are off in our own world while the other one takes over the conversation. He's just blissed out. We're just about to go for a swim. Like, obviously, this was 30 day challenge of swim in the ocean. So I do actually need to swim in the ocean, even though it's gonna be very cold. We're, we're about to do that. We're mustering up the courage and then we're going to eat some delicious pizza or something. I don't know, pizza? Mm -hmm. We're right on the main beach. Everyone's walking past and we're like chilling. Are you having the best time? I'm um, so relaxed. And what, what is this, our portable what? Temple. Our portable <laughs> temple. That's right. We've just taken it everywhere. I feel bad getting this guy in my vlog. There's just too many people. But it's wonderful and healing. What are you up to? What? Oh god. Hi. Just sitting down, enjoying the sun. This was actually me getting caught red-handed talking to my spirit guides out loud while Seb was supposed to be off in the bathroom. And then I decided to keep it in because I want you all to get to know me and know that I'm kind of weird. of romanticizing my life and the mission is to swim in the ocean so I'm going to do that right now and it's going to be really cold. This on the bread as well. Yep. That's good. Canola. Hi. <laughs> Avocado. Alright. Peachy. Let's do it. Chat to a person that's. Oh, they'll definitely be that. Like, I reckon. It's, it's, it's definitely like 
Like maybe it won't, maybe it will backslide in some. But then, then it's also interesting because it will make you have human interact. Maybe it will appreciate it. It might make you further human interaction because you'll only interact when it's not like you know mm. getting something from someone at the shop and they're just working. Like you just only interact with humans like this. This is the only. <sighs> okay, so we are back now in our home, in our room. Got the babies back. I definitely maybe could have vlogged more, but I feel like I need to be feeling authentic, you know? I need to be feeling like it's the right time to get my camera out and film right now, you know? But when I was hanging with my pals and like we set up camp and all that kind of stuff, I was like, oh, maybe, maybe I just like shouldn't film it. Maybe I should just like live in the moment, you know? And, and that's what I did and it was really nice, but um, it was an amazing trip. And next time I think I'll like maybe vlog a little bit more about the camping situation. We found this really insanely good camping spot, which is free. And it was just so epic. Um, and yeah, we'll be taking the van out all the time now. So there'll be plenty more like road trip vlogs. So stay tuned for this. Um, and yeah, so that was day two. That was day two. Day three, I think it's going to be watching the sunrise. So stay tuned for this and I hope that you are following along and doing all the things that I'm doing so far. I hope you baked your cookies or whatever you want to bake and I hope you went and swam in the beach and in the ocean, except if you're in America or in the Northern Hemisphere when it's probably really cold. But that would still be exhilarating. <laughs> so... See you for day three. I really appreciate you and thank you so much for watching.